Connecting the dots, reliving Northwoods history with Carrie Bladorn. Logging in the Northwoods of Wisconsin has a long history, and modern equipment has come a long way from the broad axe, a two-man saw, and a pair of oxen with a sleigh. For thousands of years, work in the woods depended on man, animal, and water power to cut trees and to move the logs to a sawmill. Around 1904, one of the biggest advancements in logging technology up to that time rolled into the forests of northern Wisconsin with the Phoenix Steam Log Hauler. The Phoenix is a Shea-style locomotive built on continuous tracks with skis on the front. It's a four-cylinder steam-powered engine that produces 100 horsepower, and although a slow-moving machine, it could haul up to 18 log-loaded sleighs at once. It took three men to operate, two in the cab manning the boiler and firebox, and one in front to steer. It was one of a few different track-style machines being invented around the turn of the century. In 1903, the Phoenix Manufacturing Company of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, purchased patent rights for a steam-powered log hauler from the Lombard Company in Maine. After a few adjustments and upgrades, it began building its Phoenix Centipedes, named after their snake-like movement through the woods with sleighs in tow. As you can imagine, this new equipment made hauling logs out of the forest much easier and efficient. Horse and oxen teams took a sigh of relief, but industrial innovation often came with a price, and the steam-powered log hauler put more than a few Teamsters out of work. Phoenix produced less than 200 of these machines. Quite a few of them operated in the north woods of Wisconsin, but many others were sent to Canada, Alaska, and as far away as Europe. These ironclad beasts of burden could operate at extremely cold temperatures, below negative 50 degrees, and could pull a tremendous amount of weight, over 80,000 feet of logs. What was once the height of log hauling technology, the Phoenix became a thing of the past in a relatively short period of time. Eventually, improvements from other track log haulers that ran on gas began to overtake the industry. And in turn, the Phoenix Manufacturing Company filed for bankruptcy in 1925. Today, only 10 of these machines are known to exist, as most were scrapped for metal during World War II. Two of them are located in Wisconsin, right here in the Northwoods. One that was owned by the Tipler Logging Company was involved in a fire and was subsequently put on exhibit at the original Rhinelander Logging Museum in 1932. Today, it's on static display at Pioneer Park Historical Complex in Rhinelander with a rebuilt cab. Another Phoenix, one of only three that still operate, was owned by the G.W. Jones Lumber Company of Wabino and is on display at the Wabino Logging Museum. This Phoenix is occasionally fired up and driven in their town's annual steam up days, as well as taken to other steam shows. It's always a big hit with spectators and steam powered enthusiasts. The Phoenix is a remarkable piece of machinery and fun to see slowly clanking around on its large metal tracks. The Northwoods of Wisconsin is lucky to have a few of these awesome relics of the industrial past on display, preserving the logging heritage of Wisconsin that continues to this day. I'm Gary Bladorn, and this is Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history on Newswatch 12. Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history with Carrie Bladorn. Thank you for watching Connecting the Dots on WJFW. If you have any Northwoods history you'd like to see covered on this program, feel free to send me a message on my Facebook page, Carrie Bladorn, Northwoods Historian, or email me at northwoodshistorian at gmail.com.